Hello and welcome to another Tuesday Thunder playthrough with me, Ranger Rover. This time we are in the DTM 2020s at Bathurst. Really, really tricky car. Lots and lots of turbo power. Easy to spin up the rear wheels and spin out into oblivion. Which I did many times in the making of this video. Uh, Matt, or Sun Idu, has been kind enough to supply us with a replay to compare against. And we are extremely similar times. Won't ruin it this time, we're very, very close. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see on the way through where we get to. Uh, you can see as we're coming up through uh, just after the cutting and into uh, Solomon Park and through across the top and into Skyline we are absolutely flat out. Pinned all the way and really it's about the bravery to break for Skyline and at which point you can manage that without locking up and without spinning out and dying. And when can you get back on the throttle through the dipper and into Forest Elbow? Can you hear me locking up there on the way into Forest Elbow? That's a feature for all of us. My brake bias is set to 50-50 with this car. Uh, to stop the front from locking up and to keep the 100% brake pressure. Uh, if you don't like that, you're going to have to drop the brake pressure. There's no alternatives. Uh, what we're going to have when we come through the start finish line is we're going to have a comparison with Matt in the blue car and in the main frame with me in the green car and in the top right. So there we can see a finish at 52.2 for me. Well, here we've got both of us. in the screen and you can see Matt's on the brakes a little earlier to than me definitely uses a lot more steering wheel than I do to get it in he takes we both take a little bit of curb actually inside curves are normally your enemy and you can see both of us are kind of reluctant to get full on the throttle until the wheel is pretty much straight and that's definitely a feature of these cars if you can tame that backside and get that throttle down then good luck to you because that is the way you're going to uh, win in these cars I think I get a slightly better exit out of hell corner than Matt does I'm ever so slightly ahead by the end of this straight so we're coming up for the right turn as we start going up the hill breaking around about the 100 board where they spit a little bit of tarmac is just after hard on the skids into fourth and into third for me see Matt stays in fourth actually I pull out of here in third trying to get it to turn to be honest uh, and you can see that ever so slightly ahead I think just at this point for me Matt's catching fast, he's carried more speed through there, going in fourth, that's interesting hard on the brakes, coming up the hill through the cutting a little bit of lots and lots of steering lock there from Matt a little bit of uh, accelerator and you cannot get on the throttle until you've gone over that bump not completely on the throttle until you've gone over the bump that there is on the way are there now you're completely pinned all the way from here you're pinned I chose the Audi because I can thread through this string of corners better in the Audi than I can in the BMW and it is definitely flat out there's enough aero on these cars to take all of these corners absolutely flat out See, I'm slightly ahead at this point. I think because Matt just clipped the inside of the wall at the cutting, actually. And I'm definitely braver into Skyline. 
And you can see as we come through here, I keep on the throttle for a lot longer. Matt's on the brakes. I'm only a very slight dab at the top. A little bit of throttle still on to stop it from spinning out. Uh, and actually probably a lot less brakes than Matt here. Keeping it tucked close to that wall. And then left with some brake to make the back end come round for me. Uh, see Matt's later onto the throttle on the way out of there. Down into uh, Forest Elbow. Got to be so, so careful on the brakes down here not to lock up. So careful. Trying to get it turned in for the corner. Now, Matt gets it turned in late. And he has to wait to get on the throttle. You can see I'm on the throttle earlier than he is. And you'll see the effect as we come down. Because... I'm changing up just slightly earlier than Matt is, and I've got a bit more speed on too. I was racing against Matt's ghost, and you know this I could see this all the way down here. I was catching the ghost all the way down. He didn't have a great exit out for his elbow. Very different ways of achieving the speed between me and Matt. He's, he's much more aggressive on the way out with the throttle, and I'm probably more aggressive on the brakes. You can just see I'm carrying slightly more speed by the end of the straight than he is. 278. Two seven nine. Both on the skids to get into here. Matt releases earlier. Matt try and make it turn. Puts a lot of lock on to try and make it come round. He gets on the throttle earlier actually. And you can see I'm slightly behind at this point. Neck and neck though. Matt breaks earlier for Murray's. Puts a lot more steering lock on than I do. I break all the way into the apex. I'm definitely behind at this point, but I'm on the throttle earlier. And I'm full on the throttle earlier as well on the way out of there. By the finish line, I'm just the tiniest bit ahead. That's a 52-2-3 versus uh, just about the same. We're neck and neck. We're very different ways of getting it. So this is me in the main pane now. You can see we're both full on the brakes. Watch how much more steering Matt puts in to get around this. I brake all the way into the apex. So I'm braking for longer. Both or oh, same amount of throttle really. He's on it just momentarily earlier but I'm ahead on the way out the corner at least have to see by the end of the straight where we end up See, I'm carrying slightly more speed at this point. We are absolutely neck and neck. Both on the brakes at a similar point. Matt probably releases earlier, and I change down to the third. That's a definite difference. I'm hugging the apex more. And I've got my foot down in third, but he's carried more speed. You can see there he's into the 
into the 80s now and I haven't made it yet so he definitely carried more speed around that corner than I did in fourth uh, when I took it in third breaking just on the edge of the corner here he breaks a little earlier than I do um, I'm breaking all the way into the apex though and then trying to give it some throttle to make it come round and watch us both be tentative to get on the throttle after that little bump if you don't do that you're pretty much going to spin out unless you're a genius pinned all the way through here as I said earlier it's got the area to do it yeah I'm definitely ahead at this point uh, I think he actually takes a chunk out of me in the through skyline and the dipper by the look of this we're both still pinned to very different techniques coming through here watch how much earlier Matt's on the brakes than I am so on the brakes then off them back on the brake here hug it in tight he, yeah, he's tucking time out of me there. For sure. He's turning earlier. He's actually at that corner ever so slightly earlier than I am. Well done. It's a tremendous bit of braking if you can do that. And I think this corner is uh, Matt's undoing. You see, I'm braking all the way around, trying to get myself lined up to take a wider turn onto the main straight and I manage that and you see how much earlier I'm on full throttle you can see the difference now as you come down the straight easy to 200s yeah I'm 3 3k's or so faster at this point consistently all the way down because I managed to get on the throttle earlier that's actually ahead but I'm catching all the way down the straight Yeah, Matt's still ahead at this point. Nothing much in it. We are neck and neck. But he's definitely ahead. Still catching though. And he's on the brakes earlier for sure. Throw it in on the left. Catch a little bit of curve, but you don't want too much because curves are evil in this car. Uh, you can see Matt is actually on the throttle earlier than I am. And that will make a difference for his time down to Murray's here. Yeah, he's ahead again. So that must mean I must make a better job of Murray's here. So let's take a close look at that. Matt's breaking earlier. He comes off. I break all the way into the apex here jump on the throttle and the car takes it so I'll give it some more uh, yeah and I'm on the throttle earlier there I think that must be the difference just to the line so 51 212 for me 234 for Matt I've been Rangy Rover this has been another Tuesday Thunder playthrough